Hello and welcome to another episode of The Enthusiast Experiment. I am Mike, your host, and today we're going to take a look at uh, something that I made. Uh, it'll be pretty quick, hopefully. I'm just going to go over the kit itself, a couple of tools that I needed to make it, and uh, hopefully inspire you guys to go out and make something. So here is my finished product. Sorry, the oars are moving around there. We'll set those aside. I will show you uh, the kit first. So it is the skiff. Uh, an all-wood display model kit for beginners, so they say. As you can see there, just a quick look at the box, a couple of the other boats that they make. No big deal, set that aside. It does come with some cool stuff that I'd like to uh, to mention. Their, their actual manual is pretty well thought out. It has a ton of descriptions and stuff like that, which you can see there. Really well detailed and thought out. It's pretty thick, tons of pages, so that'll help you through um, the process, definitely. And it also comes with a really cool, which I haven't decided what to do with this yet, because uh, I don't want to necessarily get rid of it. There you go, kind of big for the camera, sorry. But it is a full-sized blueprint of the actual uh, boat itself. So it's pretty cool, uh, and it helps you when you're actually going through and making, making the kit. So that way you can see you're doing things properly. Uh, but it was really fun. I had a great time and definitely recommend all of you should uh, be making things whenever you have the time as well. You can see it has decent detail. Sorry about the autofocus on the camera. There we go. All right, it even has a little toy in there. Uh, all of this was, again, done by hand. It's pretty pretty intensive for a beginner kit. I actually think this was pretty, pretty crazy. Has the little guys here for the oars. Uh, the bottom as well. I, I sanded it a little bit rough because I wanted it to look a little beat up. Um, but I think it came out pretty nice. Uh, it's super smooth and, and it was a fun fun kit. The oars were pretty challenging. Um, see if we can get that to focus there for you. Uh, a lot of time went into gluing those guys together and then even just sanding the end here so that it's resemblant of an oar. They're pretty consistent too. I did a decent job by making them Pretty close to being the same for being handmade. Of course, it's going to go out of focus again there. Sorry. Let's try this again. Uh, maybe not. Well, we'll move on. Okay, so, oars. Uh, we'll set this guy aside, and now I'll just show you a couple of the things that I use to make it. Uh, the mat, obviously, is just a normal uh, hobby mat. No big deal. Uh, one of the things that tripped me up in the beginning was what they asked for was slow CA. Uh, I finally found out what the heck they meant, but here's what it looks like in case you guys do decide to ever make a model kit that needs slow CA. There you go. Uh, Zappa cap. Basically, um, super glue. So thin is supposed to, I think, dry a little bit faster, medium a little bit slower, and then there's slow, which is, I think, the slowest, uh, I believe. But I ended up just using this guy, and everything worked out well. So we'll set those aside. I went super simple. The paint route, I used spray paint and I actually used primer paint. So nothing too fancy. I just wanted it all white. And again, that little bit of a beat up look, just uh, shot a few coats of this on, sanded it down, shot a few more coats, sanded it down, so on and so forth until I got the finish I was looking for. We'll set that down. This helped out a ton, but it was only used probably twice. It's a really tiny um, drill bit and they give you the size in the book. But there you go, 1 16th. Um, and you just use it by hand. I don't even need to drill. The wood's pretty thin, so I just did it in by hand. One of the most important things, a simple X-Acto knife. So again, nothing too fancy. You can get these for you know, a couple bucks maybe. Um, but there you go, quick look at that. Tweezers also helped a bunch. Again, standard. They're a little dirty from all the super glue, but just something nice to have. And a pencil, which I used a ton. So that's also just one of those things that's nice to have. No, it does not have to be a craftsman or anything of the sort. I just like this because it doesn't roll off the table. So there you go. And finally, this is something that I recommended. I probably wouldn't recommend you all to purchase it. It is an Exacto uh, mini saw. I don't know if we'll even be able to get that on there, but there's really fine blades on there. And it just looks like one of these guys, which you would see in the store but you don't really need it. As long as your uh, X-Acto blade is sharp enough, this will be all you really need for the kit. Again, um, 
it's a little misleading being a beginner kit, at least it was for me. It was definitely pretty challenging. Um, so I'm a little proud of it. I think it came out pretty well, but basically this video is just to give you guys a quick look at it and hopefully inspire you all to go out and make something because it's really fun to uh, to get your hands a little dirty and, and build something from scratch. So uh, it's been another episode of The Enthusiast Experiment. I would really appreciate it if you guys liked the video and shared it and also subscribed. And if you've done any um, like boat building or model building kits yourself, throw them down in the comments below. Let me know because I'm always interested to check that kind of stuff out, all right? Hope you have a great afternoon and look forward to speaking with you all soon. Thanks.